Signical. Signical was born October 23rd, 2004, so they're around 16 years old. Now, their actual name is Leo, and they were an online Roblox YouTuber. Uh, I say were, but they still are. And they made Roblox videos, rhythm game videos, stuff like that. And, you know, rising from the bottom to the top, it, it seemed pretty good for this guy. The guy joined Roblox 20th of May 2017. 150k subscribers. He lives in Taiwan. You know, it, it's pretty chill. Roblox banned. He was banned because he used the macro, so they banned him and then banned him after that. But at 10am GMT, he started streaming. And this wasn't your typical stream as one would expect. No, it was something entirely different. The stream starts off in a dark room. He's talking to himself in the Roblox chat, and it makes you question yourself, what is this guy doing? The stuff he's saying in chat relates to depression and stuff like that, and it really is disturbing for any young viewer, which I'm sure his fan base is a bunch of kids too. That's kind of unfortunate for them kids witnessing that. But aside from that, it carries on and on in the dark room, and he starts talking to himself in a blank sort of space. He's talking to himself about his thoughts, really, really, really depressing things. And honestly, if you're watching the stream while I was watching it, it made you think. It made you feel so bad for this guy. I don't know what he's been going through, but it really, really hurts watching the stream and playing it back right now to make the video. Oh, man. So in a stream, he starts playing Funky Friday and he starts having an emotional breakdown at that, which it was, it was bad. And then later on, he starts playing other games. Then he goes to his desktop with his camera and he starts speaking to himself. And it's just like, okay, speaking to himself, that's, that's just kind of creepy and stuff like that. He's obviously venting his depressing thoughts and then it cuts to his camera on the floor. Then he lays on the floor. He picks up the table, which keep in mind, this is like 20 kilograms plus the stuff on his table, which is his monitor, keyboard, mouse, possibly his computer, everything on there, probably 30 kilograms at that point on his neck he picks it up and he puts it on his neck the table leg is on his neck he's screaming and choking it was so disturbing man like imagine being a kid watching this guy you go on the stream thinking it's going to be a normal stream but then you witness that i'd be horrified now my condolences are out to his family because this guy's obviously suffering for a lot and i sympathize with that but the fact that he streamed it man it's it's hard to watch like i feel so bad for this guy now luckily Kaneko has stated he's okay in a private message but man oh man this guy is definitely going through a lot now when it comes to depression and suicidal thoughts nobody really expresses how suicide or depressed they are and you know i've had my experience of people committing suicide so it really isn't a nice topic to talk about but seeing this guy do it on stream and try and do it and attempt all these things trying to hurt himself it it was so bad now i send my thoughts out to him and his family i hope they're going to be okay because at the end he had to stop stream because his mum came back so i hope she talked some sense into him or you know helped him uh, hopefully she knew something was wrong with him because if she didn't then that was like super bad Kaneko's obviously spoken to him asked if he's okay and if he's okay for now then that's amazing but i mean i'm not going to monetize the video anyway because it's just disrespectful and immoral to do so by suggesting him some support somehow his stream is now unlisted you, you can probably find the link somewhere but in the comments please do send him some support because i'm sure he needs it right now now if you enjoyed the video subscribe and stuff uh have a good day please if you are feeling sad or let down or whatever just remember that your family's there for you your people that love you are there for you as well there are people that love you don't worry about that you'll always be loved even if you think you aren't you still will be you don't need a hundred thousand subscribers to be loved even if you don't have your family there is still someone out there that cares for you take care you're loved See ya.